what is going on you guys and welcome back to what shall we do next and today I am going to be doing another Titanic collection video. Yay! So as you guys know, I am a collector of Titanic stuff. Uh, I say stuff because it's not just a specific thing like memorabilia, um, authentic stuff like replicas, like just anything Titanic. I, I want it. I want it. Give it to me. Give it to me now. So today I decided since I got a couple more things in the package and uh, in the packet in the mail. Damn it, freaking cat. Since I got a few more things in the mail, um, I wanted to show you guys, and I thought it'd be pretty fun to go through it together. And I do have some more stuff coming. It's like, I think two, two of the best things are yet to come, uh, but they're not here yet. It's it's always the way, the, the really cool stuff, the stuff that's like the best, seems to always take the longest in the mail. And I'm just like, <sighs> But yeah, we're going to get right to it. I'm going to come around there because that's the only way I seem to be able to do these uh, collection videos. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty fun. I hope you guys like it. Okay, so first of all, before I come around there, uh, I have this package, which is a package of like a bunch of different like paperwork from the Titanic. And I'll read it to you guys now before I go through it and show you guys. Um, I am going to save the best to last today I have something pretty cool to show you guys uh, but yeah I'm gonna show you guys that last and for now I'm just gonna show you in the package you get pretty much everything that's on here and it says yeah Titanic replica pack a collection of replica stuff um, you get a launch ticket the launch of Titanic's hull which is witnessed by over a hundred thousand people you get the a copy of the Daily Graphic and a bridge newspaper coverage of the horror that began on April 14th. You also get a fold-out leaflet, cross-section view of the ship, plus a variety of interior images. Paperwork, assorted, ima assorted paperwork, including famous telegrams, crew cards, and letters. Advertising flyers, a selection of Titanic adverts and poster images. Uh, you got some little cards, a collection of Titanic photos and pictures, second class dinner menu. I do have a menu already, but I'm not sure if that's second class. And a passenger booklet. Fascinating detail on the first class passenger facilities, including an electric bath. You get a lot more than that, by the way. I'm just, just going to throw that out there. Um, I don't know why they only literally list that stuff because you get a ton of stuff in this package and I know you guys are gonna want to see it all so I'm gonna show you right now okay some of this stuff is very hard to read because back in the old days the handwriting was a lot different than it is these days so you guys I'm gonna hold things up to you and show you and you guys can decide for yourselves what they are there is this it looks like somebody is you guys can if you want to really read it, I'm just going to hold them up for a second. This is the other side. Uh, if you really want to read it, you can pause the video and read it. But I'm just going to quickly th flick through all of this stuff. And uh, you guys can decide what you think. So here is another thing. I'm going to go slowly up. The detail on it is really good. They kept it like... You know it looking authentic looking really old as you can see there's titanic um this is the menu this one is very very difficult to read there's so many words the handwriting is difficult to read and uh it's just it, it looks very complex but here's this Again, looks very old. Like I said, if you guys really want to read it, you can pause the video and uh, read through it at your own pace or set the video in slow motion and read it at your own pace. And this is the back of it. Again, looks very authentic, looks very real. Pretty amazing. Now here is one that is personally one of my favorites. This is a copy of the actual sheet music that the band was playing. Whoops. It is uh, the sheet music to near 
My God to Thee, which was the song that was played on the Titanic as it was going down. It also has a song on the back, which I don't know what that is. It, it looks French or something, so I, I couldn't tell you, but it's pretty cool. And then here we have like uh, a copy of the memorial service um, flyer, I guess. Again, very cool. Looks very authentic. Who texted me? Damn it. Okay. <laughs> then here we have a little a little book which is for the Olympic and the Titanic and it's pretty cool. You open it out. Oh boy, it's long. Okay. So, it shows you pretty much like all of the rooms in the ship. And we're still going. The largest steamers in the world. Pretty cool. Oh, God. It's big. And then this is the other side of that. Some pictures. I'll go slowly. So if you guys want to, like I said, slow the video or pause it to really take a look. Pretty cool stuff. And then here, we have something else. I actually just got this yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to actually read it myself. So I, I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. It's new to me too. Um, but again, very cool. It's very exciting to own stuff. Uh, this doesn't have anything on the back. Very exciting to hold stuff that, you know, is a replica of stuff that was related to that time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And um, here is a thing. Looks like, I guess, another like advertisement for um, the Vinolia soap, which you can actually buy. You can still buy that. And I, I'm meaning to get it. Um, it's a replica of the soap that was used on the Titanic. So you can really like smell what the people on the ship must have smelled like when they washed in it. Um, it's kind of weird saying it like that, but I guess it makes you feel more um, connected to, you know, to, to the situation and the disaster more than anything when you can you know touch things or smell things that were there uh here we also have like a comparison of how long it was next to the buildings of the time the tall buildings of that time um which is pretty cool on the back of that you got another like it's like the ship cut in half so you can see all the boiler rooms and all the rooms in between um again very cool here is like a little card which has stuff about the Titanic. Even though I noticed they used the Olympic for this picture. Here's the other side, a picture of the propellers. Very cool. And here we have, uh, this is an actual copy of the Daily Graphic. Well, a replica, it's not real, but you can see like how much it cost and stuff like that um, on the bottom here, one penny. One penny, guys. And uh, it's basically, it feels like a newspaper. It looks like a newspaper. Um, this is very, very small. Uh, but it's something that I'll probably read through someday. Uh, it's got quite a few pages in there. It's, ugh, it's awkward. But you guys can see, it's looks very, very cool. Very interesting stuff. And yeah. Okay, next we have the launch card. Which is a, it's a card, but it, I guess it was a ticket to actually see the launch from Belfast. And it's, yeah, it's cool. Oh. Then we have here a little pack of cards. The Olympic and the Titanic next to each other. That's where the propellers were getting put on. The little boy who was advertising newspapers the next morning. This is the Olympic. Uh, the gym. And the Titanic. Very cool stuff. Then you get in this little rubber band. A little pack of cards. Um, which has pictures on. Some of them are colorized. You got the 
lifeboat with the passengers, the grand staircase. Some really cool pictures. And on the back too, again a colorized picture. Some details. More ship pictures. Ship, not the S word. Then here you have another flyer. I guess this was when the Titanic was supposed to be sailing again after it reached New York. Uh, because you can see here, it says Saturday, April 20th. Now the Titanic sank April 14th and went under April 15th. So this was, and then you got the prices here, like $36 and stuff like that for third class um, to go to London and places like that. So again, very cool. And it's just, these are the things that you don't really see in the movie or anything like that. You don't really think about this kind of stuff. Got a picture of a cabin. Not too sure if that's the captain's cabin. Uh, because there is a picture of Captain Edward Smith on the back. Which is very cool. Then here we have. This must have been the one that was the flyer that was advertising in the UK. Before the Titanic left. As you can see it says April 10th. Which was when it set sail to New York. And uh, it says like the prices are like seven pounds and six pounds and stuff like that so it's it's very very you know it's very different to what we pay these days for like to go on a cruise very different especially one of that scale and stuff like that for its time here is a letter uh, I had a hard time reading this because of the handwriting but you guys can try and read through it if you want just pause the video I believe this was from one of the survivors You guys can pause it and read through it if you want. Here we have some more paperwork. Oh wait, this is the, uh, this was the distress call that was sent to the SS Burma when the Titanic was going down. So this was the distress call that the SS Burma got. As you guys can see, it says, we have struck iceberg sinking fast, come to our assistance. So that was actually what was said from the Titanic to the SS Burma, which is, kind of bone chilling and last but not least we have a little book again um, it's not actually old or it doesn't that aging is not real it's just made to look like that which is very cool I like the way they made it look genuinely old um, it's actually brand new and it has quite a lot of pages in there I'm not going to show you guys all of them but maybe one day we could read them together and there you have a picture of like uh, this is like a map. Wait. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> okay, so this is a map. I was so confused. This is the United States and Canada. Then you got the UK over here. Titanic sank right about here somewhere. Um, in the like just past halfway in, in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, so it's yeah, it's it's sad, man. It's very sad. But guys, this video is dragging on long enough. Uh, I didn't think it was going to take that long to get through the paperwork. But um, what I will do is I'm expecting a couple more things maybe tomorrow. Well, one more thing tomorrow or the day after. Um, and I have something else here, but the video is going on too long. I don't want it to be too long. So what I will do is I'll show you the next thing in the next video with the other thing. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I hope you guys have fun reading through that stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you did. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember to chase your dreams. I love you all.